Hello guys, I hope you all are doing great. So in last video, I have created this customized drawer. In this video tutorial, we're gonna create this beautiful drawer and then according to drawer opening and closing, we will create a scaling screen animation. We're gonna use our previous drawer code here. So make sure if you haven't watched that video, then watch it first. Or you can skip till the drawer creation if you want to learn scaling animation only. And before moving ahead, please subscribe to my channel for more such type of videos. So let's get started. Previously we have created this customized drawer, so we'll use its code here. Let's add a stack screen in root stack. Component is drawer 2 and name is drawer 2. Alright. Just copy drawer 1 folder and change its name to drawer 2. Save it. Here I have already added an item in list. And let's open drawer 2. Works fine. Here I have created drawer screen 2 and I have added drawer menu which we'll use to create drawer navigation. And we have icons, hours and days array which we'll use in weather UI. Ok, let's go ahead, change this to drawer menu and save. So drawer screen 2 is used here which has white background. So it looks same but here we don't have the notification badge. Open the drawer now to in drawer content import custom drawer 2. Let's open the custom drawer 2. First of all I'm going to remove this functions and project and profile menu. Yeah remove this progress and menu style as well. Save it and open the drawer again. Alright, so you can see only the drawer menu is visible. Let's open drawer navigation. Update its background color to CNBG and save it. Alright, change drawer type to slide and overlay color to transparent. Let's open up the drawer list items. Here we have drawer list items and drawer item component. I'm going to change the view styles. Remove this background color. Save it. Perfect. Let's change the drawer item. Make it icon container. Move this text below and remove this view and save. Next I'm going to change drawer item styles, remove justify content and padding from here. Alright. Actually we don't need to pass text and icon color from here, just comment it out. Alright, open the level styles. Change it to white and remove this color prop and here also add colors dot white and save and remove this color ok so here we have this colors I'm going to use this color as icon container background Remove the color constant and here pass drawer item dot color and save. Perfect. Open the styles. Make it to white and here as well. And change its name to text. Save it. Yeah. Let's open up the app.js file. For this drawer, just comment this safe area view. 
and save. All right. Now draw covers whole screen. Here I am going to add top padding and draw the styles. Yeah, works fine. Now open the drawer screen and make it light content. And in the drawer navigation, add scene container styles. Add background color, colors dot scene bg. Let's make it yellow for now. I'll show you why it is needed. Now we're gonna add a scaling screen animation using use draw progress. So here I have created drawer view, which is simple component, and within this drawer view, we will render the children. Change this view to drawer view and import it here. Next, I'm going to create animation styles. Cons drawer progress equal use drawer progress. Cons view style equal use animated styles and import it from reanimated. Add the return statement and here add cons scale equal interpolate and also import it from reanimated. Here pass dot progress dot value, input is from 0 to 1 and output is from 1 to point 8. Pass this scale and transform. Let's add these styles here. Make it animated view and import animated from react native reanimated. Alright, save it. Let's open up the drawer. Yeah, you can see here the yellow colors exist. This is the scene container. Now remove yellow color from here and save again. Perfect. Yeah, now it is matching the drawer background. Let's hide this header. Yeah, perfect. Now it is covering all the screen. Make the drawer width to 220. Let's add border radius. Const border radius equal interpolate. Draw progress dot value. Input is from 0 to 1. And output is from 0 to 40. And we have to add border radius here. And save. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Next, we will be working on drawer screen. So let's open up the drawer screen, change the background color, and save. Perfect. And here I'm going to create an inner view. Add styles. Now I'm going to add an image, import it from React Native and within the source add require and here pass an image path. Here I have a sunset image, let's add its path. Now add an image styles. Pass width. Let's get screen width from the dimension const width equal dimensions dot get screen and in height pass the width so the width and height will be same save it perfect all right let's add a menu icon add another view and inside it add a touchable opacity and here add an icon in name pass menu and type will be icon dot feather and color will be white Save it. Yeah, we need to add some top margin here. Let's add menu styles. Position is absolute. Top is 40. And left is 20. Save it. Oops. It should be styles. Save it. Yeah, make this icon below the image component and save. Alright. Add on press event. Here add toggle drawer. Let's create toggle drawer function. Toggle drawer equal navigation dot toggle drawer. Alright, press on the hamburger. Yeah, works fine. 
here you can see the image corner are sharper not rounded so we have to make this image animated so that the image corner will become rounded same as screen let's make this image animated copy this animated styles and paste here here add view styles as well import used or progress yeah now works fine but we don't need this scaling animation here just remove it and save it again Just go back and open the door screen again. Yeah, now works fine. Here you might think why we have created the drawer view. It is for reusability. Like we can use it in other drawer screens. And we don't need to write animation code again. Now you can see it works fine in the Android as well. But the status bar color is white. Let's fix it. We will change the color of status bar according to the drawers, opening and closing status. Let's add a const is drawer open equal use drawer status. So whenever we open or close drawer, the use drawer status gets changed. Let's console log it and save. Yeah, you can see. Now we're gonna add a condition is drawer open is true then show scene bg as screen bg and save looks good that's it in next tutorial we're gonna create this beautiful weather ui till then stay tuned thank you so much for watching and for more such type of video please subscribe to my channel I'll see you in next one. Till then, take care and bye-bye.